Hey Delta, did you realize that Sean's YouTube page is going to cross a million video views today? Actually, I did, Prime. That's why I'm making a million clones to celebrate. <laughs> You're what? I'm here. I'm making a million clones. Let's do this. That's probably the worst idea you've ever had. Wait, which one is a million? Is it the one after 99 or the one after 999? Nazco. Or the one after 909. Della, you should probably turn it off before Sean gets home. Prime? Delta? Why aren't you wearing your shirt? I can't tell which one you are. The narwhal bacons at midnight. Who let you on Reddit? It won't shut down. When Sean asks, I had nothing to do with this. Shit. Who are you? Shut up. Some days when I get home from work, I just want to relax, chill, and watch something very soothing. I present Terra Sacra, a six-year-long film project made by Sean White. No, not that Sean White. Do we have to do this every week? The six-minute film is separated into three acts, Primordial Earth, Past Meets Present, and Eternal Universe. In this film, you will find footage from all seven continents. Can you pick which is from where? It is the end of the week and the Electronic Entertainment Expo, or E3, is just wrapping up. But here are two titles that you probably heard nothing about. Still in the early stages of development, this is Starforge. This game is not part of a major studio, it is being independently developed, and it is influenced by such titles as Minecraft, Halo, Terraria, Borderlands, and Warcraft 3. It's real-time strategy meets first-person shooter meets Minecraft. The Minecraft thing is really unignorable. The game is free to download and will contain two game modes. The first is a sandbox mode that operates like survival, and soon, a Fort Wars mode. And I'd say Minecraft killer, but at this point, can we say that anything is a Minecraft killer? I don't think so. One of my favorite things that I played last year was not really a game at all, and it definitely didn't cost me any money. It was a modification for Half-Life 2 called The Stanley Parable. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. If you have not completed this little mind f of a game yet, it is about 45 minutes long to complete all six endings. But if you don't want to sit there and do it yourself, check out my playthrough over on SVM Gaming. Why am I bringing this up? Because recently uploaded to YouTube under the name .movoo001 is this trailer for a sequel to The Stanley Parable. To those whom this message concerns, good to see you. I've been off the radar a bit long, haven't I? And I know how hard this lonely period has been on you. But I'm so terribly busy working on a story that I think you'll just die for. Probably the coolest thing about this trailer is my video comes up at the end. See? Right there. Whee! The last two things this week are Sean and Carter have a podcast related. Last week on episode 42, we talked about life, the universe, and everything. Okay, maybe not everything, but we did talk about Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and how awesome it is. And then, recommended to us in the comments by the Mad Astronomer, was this YouTube channel, The Number File. Again, if you go on the web and uh, if you read um, some of the articles about 42, there, there are arguments ranging from, well, actually, it's 101010 in binary. It's class 1 over 7, and these are the sum of the inverses of each prime factor. Then plus 1 over the number itself, the result is 1. Kind of like that other YouTube channel that I recommended recently, Viheart, the number file is all about math and why numbers are amazing and awesome and fantastic. There are not so many numbers that have this property. The next one after 42 is, I think, uh, 1,806, and then you immediately go to very huge numbers. And in addition to 42, there are some other things to learn. Like, what is a billion, anyway? I think I was taught a billion is a thousand million. Right, exactly. Now, that's what I was taught at school as well. Although in Britain, uh, the older generation would say a billion is not a thousand million. They would say it was a million million. Finally, on this week's Sean and Carter Have a Podcast, we will be talking about Return of the Jedi, the final Star Wars film, as far as anyone should be concerned. And while our discussion of the film will basically focus on the characters and the plot development, Corey Vidal has launched a brand new channel called Apprentice Facts that is all about the trivia of Star Wars. Hi, I'm Corey, and this is Star Wars Facts. 
In The Phantom Menace, during the last lap of the pod race, Sebulba closes in on Anakin. There is a shot where his engines are just meters away from Anakin's head, where you can see that Sebulba is clearly not piloting his pod. I don't mean to say he's not paying attention, I mean he is completely missing from the shot. He's uploaded over a dozen random facts so far, and some of them I definitely didn't know before. Jabba the Hutt's voice and movements were undertoned with the sounds, or foley, of someone running their fingers through a cheese casserole and a wet, dirty towel in a garbage can. So head on over there, check out some random Star Wars trivia, and let them know that the Charmy is interested. Boo-doo! And that does it for 5 Things this week. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like on this video, follow me on Twitter at Sean B. Martin, and look for Sean and Carter have a podcast in the iTunes store and on YouTube on Sunday. I'll see you next week. Daddy? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Thank you for watching this episode of Five Things. As always, it would mean a lot to me if you could click like below, hit favorite, and share this episode with all of your friends. Check out some of the other stuff I'm working on this week. On my left, your right. Sean and Carter have a podcast. Last week's episode is up there on the top. We talk about Hitchhiker's Guide. We talk about Apple. And we talk about Star Wars. In the middle, we have uh, one of the most recent episodes of Sean Plays the Library, Ron Smalek's custom map for Minecraft. I'm almost done. There are eight total parts that I've created, uh, seven total sections of the map, but I have a little bonus part at the end, so make sure you check that out. And on the bottom, I have a link to one of the most popular drum covers that has ever been posted in my channel, and it wasn't even by me. It was SVM Prime doing Queen's Don't Stop Me Now, so go over there and see if, uh, see if you can stop Prime now. Don't try. It's hard. They call him Mr. Fahrenheit. There's a cat over there. Pan over. Cat. Test, test, sound test, five things, 95. What? Don't look so surprised. I turned on the microphone. You saw me do it. Sound test number two, because I lost all my footage, because even though I did a sound test, it didn't record any of my sound afterwards. So I just talked for 15 minutes for no reason. Yay! You're what? You're what? You're what? You're what? I don't like peanut butter. <laughs>